Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast YouTube edition. I am your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today we are talking about retrievable rigging, but rig to lower from the ground. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode here. Today we are talking about another rig for rescue setup. Now this is something that may have, many of you have probably seen either in person on YouTube with access techniques or on Facebook, Sam, when he kind of did a V-rigger kind of demonstration of this. So today I'm gonna to break this down and show you how I do this. And yeah, let's dive in. So this setup is pretty straightforward. Um, the things I like about it is the fact that I don't physically have to get up there and get anyone to set this up. We can set this up from the ground. Um, it's rescue ready, so that gives me the ability to either haul the person up or lower the person down. And I have a tagline here so I can retrieve all the gear so no one actually physically has to get up there to do anything else. All right, so the required equipment you will need are two steel slings, four locking carabiners, a tagline of some sort, and long enough rope to go up and down twice, okay? so. So first I'm gonna take my tagline, I'm gonna get this up and over top, it doesn't matter how you do it. Uh, there's so many different ways. All right, I'm gonna find relatively the middle of my working rope here. I'm gonna tie a bowline in the rope. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna just drag this loop over top of the structure. All right. There we go. So now that's over top. I'm gonna to undo my tag line here, or my pole line, whatever you wanna call it. Store that off to the side. You will need that here momentarily, so don't get rid of it. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your two steel slings and the four carabiners. So one carabiner in each eye here. I'm gonna attach two carabiners to two of the ropes right here in the loop. And if you're using screw gates, I do recommend uh, definitely opposed gates. If you're using auto locking carabiners, I don't care. All right. Now, it doesn't matter what side you attach the carabiners to, if it's this side or this side. All right, so I'm just gonna clip that on there, lay it out. Okay, try to not tangle anything. All right, there's the second one. Now from this point, I just want to go underneath the, the carabiners I had just attached and just start pulling up a little bit. All right, this allows the, the slings to kind of just hang a little bit more free. Make sure that this does not, these carabiners don't get out of reach as that's where your tagline's gonna go. All right, so now here, I'm gonna just feed this through. I'm gonna tie on a bowline with a Yosemite tie off. And the reason I use a bull line with a Yosemite tie off is it has a nice flat profile. So going over top of structures, it doesn't get stuck as easy. Um, and I don't have to worry about it coming undone because it is technically tied off. Um, and ultimately at the end of the day, I don't want this to really cinch up on these carabiners. So if you're using like a scaffold knot, it would cinch up pretty tight. Um, I want these carabiners to kind of move as they wish, right? So I want something that's kind of free hanging there. All right, next here, we're gonna go back to where we started here when we started pulling. This is gonna feed up and over top. And if it gets stuck, 
pull down on the two sets of lines that you have access to. Flip it around. There we go. Okay. Make sure that all those carabiners line up. If they don't, you may have to pull it down. If they are crossed, it's gonna create a lot more friction for the next part of the conversation. I'm gonna take my tagline and secure it off to the side here. All right, obviously all it is is just getting it out of the way. All right, so now, here this is nice because I can just move those carabiners around, move the ropes around, it doesn't matter. I don't have anything anchored down to the bottom side yet. So here I can just put tension on it. It has the ability to move freely so I can either haul or lower like I said. And because of the situation here, I can anchor these ropes down to one side or the other side depending on say the work is on this side or say the work is on this side, I have that ability to kind of maneuver it. Um, and then with this setup here, these are pretty loose. So if I need to move this across this beam, it doesn't take a whole lot to actually make that happen. Okay. So this is definitely something that I really enjoy using. It definitely is useful in so many different cases out there. Um, and this is kind of turning into my go-to setup. Um, ultimately, I don't want to put anyone on ropes that I don't need to. And this gives me that ability that if someone does have to get on ropes, I have the ability to, you know, get them down in a safe, controlled fashion. So that's kind of why I do this. Um, ultimate, you know, it does kind of suck that I have to have another rope as a tagline, but it is what it is, right? Now, to take this down, we're gonna do the exact same thing, just in reverse. Grab my tag line here, all right. Bring this over. All I'm gonna do is just pull this over. And then the whole thing just kind of comes down, right? Letting those carabiners kind of move as they need, all right. Undo the carabiners. And then I just pull that, whole thing comes down, tidy up your job, and you're done. All right, well, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. That was awesome. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you very much, Sam, for you know putting together that uh, V-Rigger diagram for us. Uh, that is obviously muchly appreciated. Uh, also, thank you very much to Access Techniques over in the UK for originally putting out this video. But this is obviously just a you know, an updated version, not that really anything's changed, but, you know, um, a good refresher. And for those people that are learning how to do this sort of thing, you know, kind of give you an idea of exactly what's going on. All right. So let me know in the comments below if you've used this, what you think of it, and maybe how we can improve on it. All right. So yeah, if you like this episode, please make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell for notifications as I put out new content every Sunday. And, and, and don't forget to follow us wherever you get your podcast. Until next time.